So, good evening, everybody. Tonight, I'd like to share with you my apprenticeship story. So, how I became an apprenticeship, apprentice. Um, I finished college in my A-levels and I decided to work in the family business. I knew university wasn't for me because I didn't know what I wanted to study. Um, whilst job searching, I came across the IT apprenticeship, which I was instantly drawn to because I knew there was a growing demand for IT professionals. I'd studied IT at A-levels and GCSE, and obviously there was a draw of a proper salary. Looking back retrospectively at my apprenticeship scheme, I feel extremely grateful and privileged for the amount of learning and development opportunities that were opened up to me. I was put on a flexible development and learning program, tailoring my learning to my interests. I learned a broad range of skills and secured several prestigious qualifications. As well as this, the IT apprenticeship exposed me to other potential career options within AXA and roles I'd never knew existed. Um, and it allowed me to work towards one of my choice. I think the apprenticeship scheme is an excellent platform for my first step of my career path, resulting in me gaining a permanent role at AXA a year prior to the scheme ending as a business analyst, which I'm currently thoroughly enjoying. It's because of organisations like you here today that I'm here sharing my success story and able to promote the apprenticeship scheme. And I've been been able to inspire other young people at school and college events um, I've been involved with. As an apprentice, your journey does not stop when the apprenticeship scheme finishes. It's only the very beginning of an IT profession. I'm 22 years old and I've successfully completed my BCS business analysis diploma, qualifying me for my role. Through QA, I've gained an extensive amount of knowledge and skills from the courses offered through my apprenticeship scheme. My first year, I learned about the IT department and how all the other roles are linked. This broad understanding supported me to make my decision to become a business analyst. But it's not just about the qualifications. It's about the practical knowledge that you learn and the real life work experience that you get from your colleagues. <coughs> I was also asked the question, as a woman, do I believe that the IT profession can do more to attract women to IT roles? And I believe that they can. And the way in which we can do this is start at the very beginning of the educational system at schools and colleges. I think this early promotion will get rid of the stereotype that the most successful people within IT are men aged in their 50s. And when you talk to people about an IT workforce, they mainly say, oh, it's just men in suits working at a computer. And this doesn't really reflect the current IT workforce. The quality and diversity are at its highest it's ever been in years. And there's been a noticeable change in the focus of customer needs and a more collaborative working environment. This has led to interpersonal skills becoming more important rather than purely technical. These creative soft skills need to be clearly publicized so that we can change the perception of IT. IT professions can often lend itself to flexible hours and career paths, so more companies should take advantage of this and publicize it, and that might appeal to more women. Social media, I think, is an excellent platform for young people. I think on there we should share real life examples with young people today. In order to do this effectively, more female role models must emerge to inspire young people to aspire to be more like them. And finally, there's cer certainly not an equal amount of men and women in IT. However, that's not to say there's inspirational, powerful, successful women within IT, because I know there most certainly are within AXA, and I'm sure there are within your organizations too. I would just like to thank you all for your investment in young women like me, and thank you for listening. <laughs>